What if you could use AI to extract money from literally any website? Ethically, of course. You see, in a world where information is the new currency and the internet is our treasure trove, understanding the art of extracting profit strategies is like having the master key to the digital kingdom. Whether you're a budding entrepreneur, a seasoned marketer, or simply someone with a thirst for knowledge, you are in for a treat today. Picture this, a world where you can decode the tactics of your competitors, uncover the untapped opportunities in your niche, and transform your online presence into a profit-generating machine. No, it's not science fiction. It's the power of AI right at your fingertips. Throughout this live stream, we're going to explore the cutting edge techniques, tools, and insights that AI offers to help you uncover profit strategies lurking behind every click, every post, and every line of code on the internet. From dissecting the tactics of successful e-commerce giants to understanding the content strategies of viral blog, Marcus will be your digital detective armed with an AI-powered magnifying glass. So fasten your seatbelts, grab your notebooks, and get ready to tap into the infinite potential of AI as we embark on this thrilling journey. Smash a like button, because together we'll uncover the strategies that make the digital world go round. And by the end of this stream, you'll be equipped with the knowledge and tools to extract profit strategies from any website, blog, or online content you come across. Get ready to revolutionize your digital game because the future of online success starts right here, right now. All right, guys, welcome to the show. Today, what we are going to do is talk about how to extract profit from literally any piece of content online. Now, this is super important because when we look at this, we have to really understand what's going on and how to use it. Now, Again, when we're talking about extracting profit, we are not talking about anything unethical, anything shady or anything like that. We are talking about eliciting the strategy. I remember once Tony Robbins said something good. Some of his stuff he says is a little weird, but this was actually pretty good. And he said that success leaves clues, which I'm sure he probably wasn't the first person to say that. But when we look at it, success does leave clues. And on the internet, it's like a fire hose of clues. It's kind of like a breadcrumb trail that if you pick up all the crumbs, you're gonna be able to put something together for yourself. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today is utilizing AI to extract a strategy that is working. Now, the way we're gonna do this is in several different methods, all right? So we're gonna go through and we are going to, let's get our ducker pen here. All right, what we're gonna do is line up the extraction process. What is it that we want to extract from a different website? What is it that is going to make us money? Well, we can look at why a site ranks, okay? This is super important because what we're gonna do is we're gonna stack these methods on top of each other. Now, when we look at why a site ranks, we can look at stuff like keyword density, right? Feel like uh, back to the future. I'm your density, right? We could look at title. We could look at keywords. We could look at backlinks, all different kinds of data like this that will help. Now, it's very important because a lot of people might be saying, well, Marcus, you know, there are tools out there that does this anyway. Why are you going to give us something better? Well, because we are going to put this in AI to get the output we want. This is very important because what we're going to focus on is training the AI. Much like you would train an assistant or an outsourcer, we are going to train the AI to think in a certain way. This is about using a product like AI to get it to give a different output based on what we are talking about. Very, very important. So we're going to go through and we're going to look at this and say, okay, we have the why a site ranks. Now we also have structure of content. All right, structure of content is super important because a lot of times we look at this and we're like, okay, why does a piece of content perform well? Why are there videos and articles and things all over the internet that have great information, right? Tons of stuff. Why are some of the videos that I put out that have the best information, some of the least watched videos? Because if people aren't watching the videos or consuming the content or reading the article, 
then you're not going to make any money no matter how good that piece of content is. There was a study done years ago about two different books. One was in the weight loss niche written by doctors. The other was written by some gals who were boss babes and they were like, hey, you know, we're going to teach you this workout stuff. And the one that was not written by doctors outsold the one written by doctors like a thousand to one. Why? I'm absolutely certain that the doctor one had better information, but it was the structure of content. Now, I've said over and over that content structured differently or information structured differently can make you rich. Now, we have to understand this because the structure of the information is literally everything. We got to get real here for a minute. Google knows it. All the websites know it. You know it. The internet doesn't need more content. There's plenty of content. Everyone can watch content and read content till their heart's content. So what we're going to do second is elicit the structure of the content. Then we are going to elicit the profit strategy. Now, this is going to get bigger in the up and coming months as AI gets bigger. And this is an opportunity that can work really well. Because when we're eliciting a profit strategy right now, without doing a little legwork, we have to go through and understand, OK, we're probably just going to get the on-page profit strategy. It might talk about a mailing list, but it's not going to go any deeper than that. Using other tools in the coming months, we're going to talk about how to elicit that stuff as well. So, why does a site rank, structure of content, profit strategy, and also how layouts work. Okay, layouts are super important. It's overlooked, but we're going to talk about that as well because I think it has a lot to do with how we are going to profit online. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at how this works. It's super important that we understand exactly what's going on. Now, I was messing around with AI last night and uh, actually this morning. And it was funny because how many of you guys liked the intro that was to this video? You liked the little intro that we created. That was actually, I would say, about 95% AI created, which was kind of cool. I got here late, and I'm like, I don't have an intro. I asked AI, and I got it. Now, what we want to do is we want to go through and look at the profit strategies of a business. Now, I went through with AI, and I asked it, OK, what are some prompts that I could use to help you find the profit strategy of web pages and traffic strategy as well? The stuff that it gave me wasn't that good, but there are things that we can use. We can tweak this out a little bit, OK? So like, what are the common monetization strategies for websites? We could say, what is this website doing to monetize? OK, now, what we're going to do is we're going to use two AI tools side by side. We could use three if you want to do Bing as well. What I would do is I would use uh, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and Firefox use all of them. Each of them have different things. And you want to be logged in differently so you get different outputs. OK, very, very important. So now when we look at this, we're going to say, well, what is it that we can do? Now, I went through and I took an article. OK, if you guys didn't see yesterday's video, you need to watch yesterday's video. It's about free traffic. It's super important. It's got things that are going to help you understand where traffic's at. In that video, we went through and we looked at the uh, keywords that LinkedIn ranked for in regards to reviews. And I actually found out that there was one for this thing called like Vanilla Visa, right? And if we go into the LinkedIn and we look at the Vanilla Visa, which I think it's a, like a gift card or something like that. If we go in here and we do keyword contains Vanilla Visa, I'll show you this exact method because it's very important. Now, again, this method, since we're looking at LinkedIn, this is a method that you can use without having your own website. As you can see, LinkedIn is getting lots of traffic from Vanilla Visa Balance. However, we need to understand why that's working. Like, why does it rank for that? Why, if I go put something about Vanilla Visa on Facebook or LinkedIn, why does it not rank? And why did this guy's rank? Important. This is stuff that we need to pay attention to. This is going to go through, and we are going to talk about this as part one. Why does the site rank? Now, we know that it ranks because, I mean, come on, it's LinkedIn. But it's also, you can't just go on LinkedIn and write whatever you want and get traffic. So we need to understand what's going on. So what I did is I went through, and I put 
this prompt. I said, please analyze this article and get the keyword density for the word Vanilla Visa, as well as other prominent keywords and LSI keywords. Now, we could see here that if we wanted to go even deeper, I could probably say, now analyze it for this visa balance, right? So I could say, now please analyze the same article for this word, word and uh, keyword density. Right, so it's gonna go through and I'll put the word in there and it'll do this while we're reading the other stuff. So I said, please analyze this article, get the keywords, get the LSI, KD, and make some tables on what is making this site rank. What is, what is this site about? What is this page about? And then it goes through and we post the article that was on the LinkedIn, right, like that. And then it starts with its analysis. It says, let's begin by analyzing the keyword density for the term vanilla visa and other prominent keywords in the article. So it says that the keyword vanilla visa appeared two times in the article. Now, usually, according to SEO captains, right, um, that keyword shouldn't be ranking because it's not a good keyword density. A lot of people say you need to be like the 3%, 4% mark but we're seeing something different here, okay? Why are we seeing something different? We're seeing something different because the structure of the article as a whole, right? Looking at the structure of the article as a whole is what the search engines are doing. They're saying, well, first, what domain is it on? It's on LinkedIn, okay, LinkedIn, good, all right? Now, what is the structure? Is this about that content? Because you can have content about a topic without repeating the topic over and over and over and over again, right? That's not, people think that computers are just, oh, hey, it's got the keyword on it, there you go. That's not the case, and that's why this is going to help us. So we are looking at this and saying, okay, what does this look like? Well, we got the keyword density. Now I see that 4%, we have vanilla gift card. Okay, great, so let's see how it's doing for vanilla gift card. I'll bet if we go volume, we will probably see that one. Vanilla gift card balance, vanilla visa, vanilla gift card. Okay, so that is one of the top ones. However, that's not necessarily the one we're ranking for, right? So we got vanilla gift card. We're actually ranking for the uh, balance better, okay? And that could just be because it's a lower competition. But again, look at this. I mean, LinkedIn is ranking for some pretty crazy terms with some crazy uh, keywords and different things like that. Okay, crazy uh, competition. So we're looking at that. We're like, okay, give me an, an analysis of what's going on. Okay, now this is about to get really good. If you're looking at this and you're like, Marcus, you know, this seems kind of basic. I know about KD from, you know, back in uh, 1902 when the search engines first started. That was a joke. I know that they didn't start in 1902, but we're gonna look at this and say, okay, well, what's going on? Vanilla gift card, balance, card check, online zip code, the website, phone, activation, purchase. These are all words related to someone searching for the balance, right? If I was searching for the balance, it's normal to say check, online, zip code, phone, activation. So it's given us some good stuff. Then it goes through and gives us the LSI keywords right, like this, okay? Manage fun, shopping, um, all this other stuff, okay? Now, I also asked it to check some, like how would I monetize this keyword? All right, how would I monetize this? And we're like, okay, affiliate marketing, ad placement, different things like that. And we can go through and look at that and make it work, okay? All right, sorry, family text, you gotta text them back, right? Um, so we're looking at that and we're like, okay, here's what we got. We got the uh, eBooks, guides, lead generation, stuff like that. Now we could go through and make this even more detailed by saying, well, what are some products we can do? We know that people looking to do gift cards, maybe they'd be interested in um, maybe something like uh, loans, credit cards, Western Union, PayPal, different money sending platforms that pay us. Okay, pretty cool. So we're gonna go through and look at that and say, okay, now please share some similar gift cards. Okay, now do you guys see where I'm going with this? How many of you guys are like, okay, okay, I, I'm kinda one step ahead of you, Marcus. 
but I see where you're going with this. And where we're going with this, and if you don't, don't worry, you're about to. What we're doing with this is we say, okay, green dot, here's another one, net spend, American Express serve, different things like that. So now we're getting a list of different cards that are being used. And you can see that the strategy would work really well if we were to do like um, gift card, okay? I'm sure that LinkedIn has lots of keywords for gift card, 18,000 keywords for gift card. So this is a strategy that's like, okay, this thing's actually working. And if you were to look at some of these articles like I did earlier, you would see that these articles were created recently. Right? So very recently, it was like, okay, these things are ranking pretty quickly. And this was something that we saw with the opportunity that exists with the new Google update. Again, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, definitely watch it after this one because it goes through where the opportunity is there. And if you miss it, you know, there's a lot of money to be made here. So we look at this and we're like, okay, analyze the article, tell me the other stuff, how to make money. Then I went through and I said, awesome. Now using the same keyword density and format, please make an article about the American Express serve card, follow the same format and everything, please. So we went through and we looked at the format and it's got the same kind of stuff there. It's going through and making it work. Now it did time out, so I had to do it again but um, it was actually very simple to make happen. Now, this is the basics of how we are going to extract it. How many of you guys right now, by smashing the like button to let me know, how many of you guys so far, you're like, okay, I'm getting the idea. I understand that we can kind of get the lay of the land of a piece of content that's performing well. We can extract what they're doing to make that content and then we could use it on something else, a different gift card, a different thing, or whatever it is, okay? Much in the same way that if we were to do this with a press release, okay? I went through and started doing a press release here for a client yesterday. Um, and by client, I mean he was on our Blog Profit Network call and I created this for him. So he only pays like 37 bucks a month to get help and I created this for him, so it was pretty cool. And I said, I'm gonna send you two press releases, please analyze the structure and make an outline template. Now it's one of the things that AI does very, 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 very good is it looks at two pieces of content or data side by side. So if I say here's number one, here's number two, why did this rank and why did this not rank? Here's number one and here's number two, why does this sell and why does this not sell? Something I did recently, which is helping us in another business I own, was here's a piece of content that passed AI detection, and here's one that did not. Analyze them and tell me why. This is something that I think a lot of people are overlooking when it comes to AI. And this, in my opinion right now, other than like taking a picture of your shoes and asking AI to tell you, yes, they are shoes, which is fun and cute, but it's not gonna make us money. However, I can do side-by-side -side analysis of different things that are working and different things that are not working. And understanding that, I mean, you're gonna get a better education from ChatGPT looking at that than you are from like a lot of guru courses. And that's not to say much for guru courses. Some of them are absolute hogwash, but some of them are you know, pretty good and this, this will give you an education. So if you're out there and you're like, I don't wanna pay anyone for anything, paying money bad, then use ChatGPT and you can get an education in this stuff, right? Very simple. Now, um, we're gonna go through and say, okay, here's number one, here was the article, and it was about finances, right? So this was one I found that was about um, auto finance, right? And I think it ranked for auto finance or something like that, or auto top auto finance companies in the US. And so I had it extract the content strategy. This was very important. It's like, okay, we're extracting the strategy. This is looking good. This is looking great. We are getting something. Then I did another one for the pay stubs, right? I was like, okay, let's extract it. Then I went through and I said, now using both of these, because I know that they both rank for different keywords. So it's going to be a different altogether thing, but if I can extract the basic idea of what's going on, then I think I can get quite a bit ahead. Now. It exactly did that. And then I could go through and say, okay, now talk about um, what it is that's working. Again, we did the keyword density. Uh, we did all this other stuff. And we're starting to understand, okay, great. So this is how we would do it then. Okay, this is the important part. Very important, okay? When we go through and we are getting the structure, 
we want to use that structure to train AI, right? And the cool thing about it is training AI sounds like this big elusive task, when in actuality, all we're doing is saying, compare one, compare two, give me the keyword density, show me the structure, now write an article based on what you just learned, right? Is that, do you guys get that? Smash the like button if you're like, yeah, I get that, that's making sense. Okay, so we're gonna look at that, and then we're gonna go even deeper. Now, when we go deeper, this is when we are going to look at Bing and other AI tools. All right, so when we go through and look at this, one of the keywords that has always fascinated me, that I've always wanted to rank for, but it's a pain in the neck, is how to start a blog. Now, I know for a fact, and this is something you need to pay attention to. Okay, what we need to do, if you want to make money online, listen up. What we need to do is we need to get our emotion out of it, we need to get what we think and feel out of it, and we need to look at facts. Okay, so you might watch this, like lots of people in the comments who are like, Marcus, prove it. And even though I show screenshots and proof week after week and month after month, they still want proof. All right, well, don't listen to me. Don't listen to other gurus. Listen to the information that's out there. I know from doing research that there are people that rank for the keyword, how to start a blog, that are making six figures a month promoting web hosting. That is a fact. And what we need to do is we need to get in the habit of looking at facts. Because if you know a fact and a constant, you can use AI to reverse engineer what is going on and build that for yourself. Because there's two things going on here. If we were to look at how to start a blog, okay? This is a keyword, which I mean, if we go over here, to the, the Ahrefs or whatever it is we wanna go for, how to start a blog gets about 25,000 searches a month, which means if you're number one, number two, number three, you're getting traffic, you're making money. How many of you guys see that? Type smash a like button and type getting money in the box if you're like, oh I, yeah, I get it. These people here are making money, right? And we can even go through and we can look at this on Google just cause you're in um, Edge doesn't mean you can't use the old Google. So how to start a blog here, we can see ads up here. So it is a very coveted keyword. Then we have Wix, the blog starter, Hostinger, Reddit, which is appearing a lot more in the searches, Neil Patel and stuff like that. So I know like Neil Patel is making some money with this post. He's making money with it. I have, I've watched this post. I've watched this keyword over at least 10 years since I've been training. I've probably watched it more even before I started training and I was just running my affiliate business, okay? So when we look at this, we wanna go through and say, okay, how to start a blog that makes money. And it's going through and talking about this and then it's probably linking to um, web hosting and things like that, okay? Very cool, very easy. So what I would do is I would go to Bing and I would click the little B over here, okay? and we got our keyword. So how to start our blog is our keyword. I could go to Bing and I could say, please look at this page and tell me with the KD uh, keyword density related words and structure of content, why this ranks on Google for how to start a blog. Also talk about the LSI keywords too, okay? So this is gonna go through and it's gonna extract it. How many of you guys are digging this and you're like, wait a minute. So you could literally go and look at what's working, ask AI why it's working, train AI, and then make it work in a very simple way. Okay, so it's gonna analyze this. Place has a clear, catchy title that includes the, the keyword, okay? Has a well-written introduction, excellent. So we're gonna go through like this, the page uses headings. Now watch, the magic is gonna happen in just a minute if it decides to continue. Sometimes it does get a little slow. We'll give it, maybe it needs some coffee. We'll give it some coffee, here you go. I'm just kidding, the coffee is for me. That was a joke, calm down. 
doesn't actually work that way. OK, so now we have this here. And we can even go in and ask it other things about how the money works. OK? So it's going through. We wait. We wait and keep waiting. And then we can even go through um, and get another one. So while we're doing this, I can search Google how to start a blog. Let's say we want to use, I want to find a smaller publisher, not like a huge one. So like The Minimalist, OK, that, that might work, or Gathering Dreams or something like that. So we can go like this, Control A, Control C. Hopefully it's not too long. We could do a new chat. And GPT-3 is probably fine. We could say, let's see if it's too big first. I am going to send you an article to analyze. OK? And then while we're doing this one, we'll just do multiple. And hopefully this will, OK, so it's a little big. So we'll go through, and I'll say, I am going to send you an article in two parts. OK? And then when we do this, we could just open a notepad or something and break it up into two parts. Very simple. Zoop, right like that. And then we'll do like part one. Wow, this is a long article. This is where Bing is, comes in handy, is, is uh, shorter. Like it's going to read the page rather than having to type it in. OK? One. That should work. Good. And then we'll do two, which starts doo -doo 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 right here, right like this. And we don't need all that other stuff there. Cool. All right. And then we'll go through and do two. Boom. And then we could say, OK, it's a little bit big. But you can actually see, OK, we might have to do two parts or three parts. It's a little bit of a pain. This is why I like the old Bing. Let's try regenerate. OK. So yeah, you would post that in there and say, OK, well, um, you know, analyze this article. Tell me about uh, the, the keyword density and stuff like that. OK? I won't get into it too much here because you know, I mean, you basically just break it up for yourself there and make it work. OK? Or you can save it as a PDF and then upload it uh, to ChatGPT as well. OK? Now, let's take a look at how our, our Bing article is doing. So we got all this info here. OK? So what I can do is I can take this info and I can go to ChatGPT and I could say, um, let's do advanced data analysis. That's the one that usually works pretty good. And I'll say something like, I am going to send you some information. And we are going to create a blog post together. OK? Please follow along. Smiley face. Got to be nice to the robots, I'm telling you. right? And then while we're doing that, I'll say, what is the main monetization method of this website, web page. OK? Here we go. Go right like this. And let's see how this is doing over here, the chat GPT. Excellent. Um, here's the information. It'll summarize it for you. And then all I would need to do is be like, OK, let's try a less competitive word for how to start a blog. OK, maybe I could do how to start a food blog. That's a little less competitive. Or how to start a travel blog or whatever, fashion blog. Right? So now we're getting into the lesser KD. So how to start a blog on Instagram. OK, that would be a good one. Right? I mean, web hosting pays a lot. I literally make money with web hosting all the time. People starting a blog on Instagram should also get web hosting and a domain name. So this is perfect. How many of you guys are like, oh, I get it. That makes sense. And of course, if you don't get it, AI is going to tell us. So it's saying that this is selling a digital course. OK, uh, let's say, what about other affiliate offers on this page? What are they promoting? most. Okay? 
let's see here, WordPress plugins. He does a free ebook. That's actually pretty interesting. The fact that it said it has a free ebook strategy is kind of like, oh, hey, that's kind of cool. Looking good. Let me fix the, uh, the light over here. There you go. Apparently got to plug it in. Battery doesn't last very long. Okay, um, so now it's saying Yoast, Uber suggests Bluehost. So it says Bluehost is the number one, right? And again, if you don't have Ahrefs, you could do this with the free keyword tools I mentioned in my AI keyword video, right? There's tons of free tools. I use Ahrefs because it saves me time. You can also use SEMrush, whatever you want, okay? So now we see that Bluehost is the main attraction here. So we could go through and say, okay, good. So now we got the structure of why it ranks and that it's compelling. Okay, now I can go through and say, now please create an article outline of how to create a Instagram blog and why someone would need web hosting and how to profit with the Instagram blog and how to get traffic, okay? Very simple. Now it's gonna make an outline. And notice, this outline isn't like other outlines. This is based on what we talked about earlier, which is why it ranks, right? Does that make sense to everyone? We're like, oh, okay. Now I see you're creating something like way ahead of the game. Because most people are just going to go to AI and ask it, oh, hey, just make an article about this because the internet needs more content. And apparently if I have more content, the internet will be happy. Wrong. That is absolutely false. What we need to do is we need to get it to focus. Okay? So now we're going through and we're like, okay, good. I got, I got this, this post that is starting about Instagram blog. Right? It's not... Super competitive, right? We got how to start a blog on Instagram. It is going to be based on this. Now, using the info we went over above about LSI and ranking and engagement, please make the article and have several plugs for where I can put a hosting affiliate link for Bluehost. Please focus on people searching for how to start a blog on Instagram. Boom. Now this is going to go through and it's going to make this in a very simple way. We're like, okay, good. Now again, remember, this is doing the legwork. You will want to look these over, fact check them, and, you know, go through and, and fix the things that are weird. So here we have this, and we're talking about the basics, setting up your Instagram blog. It's talking about all the stuff. Very simple, right? How many of you guys are like, okay, yeah, this is helping me understand how to create content in a super, super easy way. And what we're doing is we're looking at this and saying, okay, we are extracting the structure of the content. Now we have uh, the other one, Bing AI, over there already looking at the profit strategy. Okay, so we're going to incorporate that, and then we're going to look at the layout and make it all come together in a very, very simple way. So when we look at this, we can see it's creating the content, monetizing, great, and it's, it's actually writing the content for us, which is pretty cool. Now, let's compare this with something like how to start a blog. Okay, do you want to start a blog fast? They got some, it's looking pretty good there. Okay, and then you can even go through and say, awesome, thanks. Now please run the KD and LSI check on the article you just made, right? So I could go through and say, okay, well, the KD on this article is X, Y, Z. Let's compare it with the new article, right? So here we go. So it's going through. Yes, please. Okay. 
And how many of you guys, you're already like, wow, this is gonna help me create content in a way that I never thought possible. Like this is something where we're creating something not only unique, but it's based on facts and things that actually work. Um, we're gonna go in and talk about some others as well. Um, we're gonna look at the franchise niche and maybe like the dieting niche and different things like that so we can extract, okay, what is it that is making these work? Because again, it all comes down to facts. If you know something, like I know for a fact this works. I know for a fact. I've seen it, I've been around long enough, I've had my own page. Personally, I've made, I don't know, I started promoting web hosting back when I built sites back in uh, 2000 and I made $10 a sale. Back then I was like, hey cool, 10 bucks, check it out. Uh, now I get a lot more than that and I've probably since then made well over a half a million dollars promoting hosting, which isn't even my top offer. Um, we've had some months where I've made as much as $6,500 or more just promoting this. And if you understand this, there's something hidden that a lot of people aren't going to see. There's something you might have missed. And I want to give you a minute to put in the comments, put in the chat box if you see the one thing that might be missing here. Because I think it's super important. And it has to do, I'll give you a hint, it has to do with the Instagram example, right? We went through, we found the Instagram example, how to start a blog on Instagram. We found other examples as well, but we came from the proof in the pudding of something we know works, which is the web hosting, how to start a blog. Very important because once you get this, this can be adapted to anything. Um, there's a marketer by the name of Dan Kennedy that a lot of people follow. He's got some, some people who don't like him, but I think overall his stuff is good in terms of marketing. Pricing structure, not so sure. But in terms of marketing, uh, one of the things that I learned, and I'll give you a little crash course. In the year 1999, back in the olden days when Marcus was just starting his marketing business, I was also a magician. And I came across this guy in the Magic Magazine that says, get more bookings, okay? And this guy actually works for Dan Kennedy now. Interesting, right? So when we go through this and look at it, where did this idea come from? Well, there's an idea as a whole, which is here's how to get more business, how to promote yourself, how to get more business. Yay, wonderful, great. What this guy did is he said, well, what if I expertise in getting more business for magicians? Okay, I followed his advice, I got more bookings, I went from making like $900 a month to making $4,000 a month as a magician. Now, I did have to drive my old beat up car all around LA and Orange County and Riverside and my car was just breaking down more than it actually drove. But at any rate, long story short, I got more bookings. He helped me get more bookings. Now, if he was in a regular magazine and he said, get more business, I wouldn't have responded because it wasn't for me. Okay, like the Instagram one. The Instagram person is not looking to start a blog normally. They're looking for an Instagram blog. All right, so what Dan Kennedy did is he said, break this up. And I listened. Back then I listened and I said, well, I am pretty good at finding keywords and ranking websites on the internet search engines, right? I did it with a cigar website. I did it with several other websites. And so I said, well, instead of saying, hey, businesses, here's how to get more business. I said, hey, limo company owners, here's how to get more people to drive in your limos. That's a limo, all right? We'll pretend that's a limo. And because of that, the sales were easier to make and it skyrocketed. Now that's not to just to say that all I did was limo stuff. No, 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 no. I went on the PayPal shops and I found a bunch of other businesses, but I contacted them with a message unique for them. If you're a magic store owner, here's how to get more people to your magic store. If you're this owner, here's how to get more people to this. If you are a, what were the other ones? We did limo, we did cigars, we did all kinds of them, but I made it unique and individualized. This led to more sales and less competition. 
If you try to rank for get more business, it's hard to do. It's very difficult. If you rank for how to get more limo bookings, way easier. How many of you guys get it so far? You're like, okay, this is making sense. I get it. And now when we look at this, we're like, okay, so now we know the constant is how to start a blog that makes you money. That's the fact. That keyword makes money. Now I can't get that keyword, but I can go for other keywords like Instagram. And then you could do a sports blog. You can do fashion, fitness, writing, book, personal, lifestyle, mom blog. How many of you guys are like, oh, wait a minute. So you're literally telling me that the keyword difficulty under 10 is going to have all of this stuff for me. How to start a sports blog. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a low competition, right? Now I can go through. Look at the KD. So here we have this. Here's the KD difficulty. So it actually did pretty darn good. It actually made a pretty good article. And it's going through and, and it's talking about this. So let's take a look at the extraction. So again, to note, what we did is we found something we know works. All right, so we, that is step one. Find something you know works. If you go look at something that isn't working, then, you yeah, know, add a note. Hey, Patty, how you doing? I think that's, hey, Patty, from uh, some video thing. I don't know. I, I haven't been in my right mind lately, so I don't remember anything. But I do remember how to use AI to extract money. And so what we're doing is we're like, oh, how to start a blog on Instagram. And it's going through, and it's like, okay, you want Bluehost. Uh, we can even go through and look at it and say, okay, well, what about, like, picking a domain name? What about choosing your content? What about this and monetizing and all this other stuff? And we can have it expand on that. So I could say, now please expand on the value of your own domain name and web. Oh, let me show you guys what I'm doing here. There we go. And uh, website hosting, website, and how that will help with traffic and building your business slash blog on Instagram. Boom. Right? So this is going to go through and help us make 100 bucks on, I mean, uh, help us provide good content. But it'll also help us make um, more money with uh, hosting as well. And this is something like anyone can do it. The hosting companies are out there. They will pay you for commissions. That's literally what they do. Um, you could do the same kind of thing when you're looking at other stuff, right? I could go through and say, okay, well, maybe with LinkedIn, okay, maybe we'll go back and I'm going to do this off screen because sometimes LinkedIn ranks for some interesting terms. Let's do reviews and show results. And let's see here, reviews. Okay, I think, I think we're okay. We're in the, the safe zone here, I believe. All right, so we could see something like vshred reviews. This is a coveted keyword that people probably want related to like vshred, vshred reviews. So I could even go through and say, okay, well, let's take it a step further. Let's get the fact. Fact, traffic equals money when done correctly. Fact, if you're reviewing a product and selling the product, it's gonna work. Fact, if you get people and convince them they need hosting in a good ethical way, because yes, you do. I mean, sorry, everyone who wants to make money online free, you should probably get yourself some web hosting. So now we're looking at this and we're like, okay, let's do vshred reviews. Apply, show results, and we're like, okay, vshred review, let's just try vshred. There we go, vshred, apply, show, boom. 79 keywords, all right, great. We rank for vshred. Actually, surprisingly, LinkedIn is ranking better for vshred than vshred reviews, which is interesting. Let's do these by traffic and see which ones are getting the most traffic. All right, vshred owner, founder, vshred guy, vshred guy. A lot of people are interested in who the vshred guy is. And again, I'm not commenting on how good this product is. I don't know. It just happens to be something that uh, they rank for. So we could go through and do like, yeah, okay, uh, what does vshred teach? Okay, good. What does vshred teach? So this is something I can go through and be like, okay, people are looking at this, they're looking at the reviews. Good. 
Now I can go through and I can take the article that is ranking. I don't, I don't even need to, to go to Google. I'll just click this here and we'll do vshred reviews. Okay. So now I could go through with this one, make sure it's clean. And it actually looks like a very, very, very simple post that's ranking. There's actually not even that much content here, which is interesting. Okay, why would that rank? And it was two weeks ago they got the ranking. I mean, it's looking pretty interesting. So we can ask it, why does this rank? How do we do better? Okay, very, very important. So we're looking at this and we're like, okay, we can now analyze this piece of content. Okay, and we could do... Let's open a new one here and you can go like this and you could say um, now please look at this one and tell me the same thing. Keyword density and why it ranks for vshred reviews. Boom. Okay. And it's going to go through and it's going to do all the stuff. Okay. Andrea says how to monetize being good with animals. Well, I mean, being good with animals is not really a niche. So we would need like, okay, are you good with, with dogs that are maniacs? Are you good with, um, you know, dogs that aren't calm? Are you good with big dogs, little dogs? You know, I sound like the go dog, go book. It's a very good book, by the way. Uh, that is a book that I understand really well. Very good book. Um, so we look at this here. That's probably like right around where my reading level tapped out, right? Go dog. Got to stick to the four, uh, the, the little words, you know? Um, so we're looking at this here and we're like, okay, now it's going through. It's got the honest shred reviews, right? So we could go through this and then utilize that as part of our strategy. Very simple. And then you can see his his profit strategy as well. So we're looking at that. We're like, okay, this is looking good. And then if you wanted to do like an animal one, you could go through and do, you know, um, maybe you could do like pets. Okay. See what ranks for pets. And again, we don't need to do that with just, um, with just LinkedIn. We're going to do this on our own blog as well. LinkedIn is just showing you, Hey, this is stuff people rank for. This is stuff that works. I mean, you can even go through and say, okay, uh, blogging. Does LinkedIn work for a blogging? Um, and it probably does, right? Look at all this stuff, travel blogging jobs, uh, blogging jobs, a lot of people wanting to make money blogging. All right. Again, this is something that you could go through and these are all keywords that would sell web hosting, right? Instead of finding a food blogging job with no expertise, you could start your own food blog. Here's how to make money. Or you can go through and look at something else. But when we're extracting the strategy, and we look at this and we say, well, what about something else? What about something like um, McDonald's franchise cost? Okay. What if we look at something like this and we're like, okay, McDonald's franchise cost. We got Investopedia, which outranks McDonald's franchise help uh, and all these others, topfranchise.com, world of franchises. So what we're seeing here is that there are a lot of franchise help sites that are getting lots of traffic. Now, again, when we look at this strategy, we need to understand what the constant is. What is the constant? What is the fact? Okay, the fact is, well, I know for a fact, franchise traffic equals money. Okay, just like dieting traffic, web hosting traffic, financial, mortgage, whatever traffic, okay? Franchise traffic equals money. Type in the box if you get it. Say get it, smash the like button, very important. So now what we could do is we could take a look at franchisehelp.com. And again, we can analyze this, all right? We're gonna go over to Bing, that way we don't have to copy and paste. Put this in a new tab here, and then we can clear this by hitting new topic. I don't know if it saves the old one now. It looks like it clears it all. So you'll want to copy and paste it. So we're going to go through and say, okay, we got, where'd we go? We need this. All right. Copy that. Put that in here. Excellent. Please 
analyze, and you could even like, you could even copy it, right? So we could go up here and scroll up. Okay, we want analyze sent article. Here we go. Okay, this is the one. So we're gonna copy this prompt. And what you'll learn is that prompts are evolving. Okay? So we'll go here and we'll say, please get this info from the page I am on. Okay? Horses that have problems with their humans. Okay, like what kind? Okay, so here we go. Calculate the key KD. So it's going to do all this stuff for us. Oh, we don't want vanilla visa. Oops, okay. So we'll redo this. Stop responding, clear. And we'll say um, this one is McDonald's franchise cost. There we go. I like that. Okay, good, good, good. I think we're looking good. There we go. Okay, so now it's doing all the stuff here. Okay, so now it's giving us the structure, which is good. Here's the LSI keywords. Excellent. So we're looking at this here and we have the structure. Okay, now please extract the structure of this content in an outline that can be used for lots of franchises. Okay, and then we're gonna ask it the money part too. And again, make sure that you do everything ethically, don't plagiarize, don't mess around. This is about looking at the structure so that we could create something. Okay, so we're gonna look at this here. like this and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna open up because I don't know if I have a find replace tool on here other than the old front page so we're gonna do this in front page where'd it go F front page do I have front page on here I think I do somewhere where is it Okay, I thought I had a front page on here. But at any rate, we could go, you know what, we'll just use ChatGPT to do it. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna open up ChatGPT. We'll just do it the easy way. Please replace the word McDonald's with, and then we would just go uh, Chick-fil-A. And again, we're doing this to get the the structure. We're not doing this to go and do a find replace on content. Okay? We're doing this for the structure. Very important. You don't want to copy. What we're going to do is get the structure. Oh, let's see. So we'll do like this. Or actually, you know what? Let's do, you could do replace it with keyword. Keyword. Watch this. So this will help us out big time. Oh, let's do one. Why does it do two there and one there? There we go. Okay. So we'll do like this, and we will get this part here. I like that. And here we go. And then what we can do is take the keyword density, copy like this. This looks like a small one, so actually we'd just do like this, overview, and that. Okay, cool. So now, awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to open a new one. Please 
get the, let's do please, get the KD and LSI keywords from this article for the word McDonald's franchise. Okay, put the article and let's see how it does. Okay, you guys digging this? Smash the like button, let me know. Okay, this is doing a, oh wow, that's, it gave me some fancy, that there is, is fancy looking. Uh, software report. Hello, Marcus. Any way to get a fully expired index domain from GoDaddy without auction? It's rare. Yeah, like if you want one that's, that's ranking right now, it's usually you're going to have to do an auction. Okay. So we're going to get the KD here, right, like this. And we wait. If you guys are digging this, smash that old like button there and let me know. All right, so while we're waiting on this, I can actually go through and say, now please tell me how this page is monetizing and ways I could monetize franchise seeker traffic as well. Okay, so I'll go like that. and see exactly what's going on here. And see how this is doing. It's going, it's going. See why I use multiple tabs, very, very important. Okay, so promoting affiliate products, offering membership stuff, lead generation. Okay, good. So it's actually doing really well. Okay. So now we have all this and we can put this in as well. Right? So I could go through and be like, okay, so now we're creating this. Okay, good. Franchise, all this stuff. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Now let's use all this info and the following, right, like this, to create an article about the Chick-fil-A franchise cost. Okay. There we go. Now use all this to make a good article about Chick-fil-A franchise cost. Okay, and then what you're gonna wanna do, which is very important while it's working, is think about other stuff that might work better. Like, if I was going to make a better version of this page, what could I do? So he's got these franchises here with a directory. Okay. Um, I actually don't think these are as related. So what I could do is I could be like, okay, now show me three other franchises, one that's under 50,000, one that's this much and one that is this much, okay? So we look at this and we're like, okay, great. So how are we doing? Now let's make this for the Chick-fil-A. See, see how it's drawing on the strategic plan. We are extracting, well, let me go over here so you can see. We're extracting the strategy 
and using it in a way that could work. And we can do this with, with literally anything. Um, and then we're going to go through and we're going to think about it in a different way. And utilizing this, I mean, you can spend an hour or two and get a stellar piece of content. And when you think about it, again, pay attention. The results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. The average person trying to make money online, including people who buy courses, makes nothing. The average person makes nothing. But if you understand, well, wait a minute. What I need to do is I need to start looking at facts. I need to stop listening to people that talk about whatever, and I need to listen to facts. What is a fact? A fact is Google searches make money. A fact is the guy ranking for web hosting is making money. A fact is if you have enough content about franchises and cost and good info, that is valuable traffic. And we start to understand and look at the tools, right? We could go to SpyFu, right, like this, and we can say something like, Fran uh, buy a franchise, okay? Buy a franchise, $2. You could do um, start a franchise, and you're going to see that these are words that make money. Finance a franchise. This is a keyword that makes money. I know it does, it just, did I spell it wrong? Finance, franchise, franchise, maybe cost of franchise or something like that. But what you're gonna see is that this traffic is a lot of money. So that's a fact, like you can't argue with it. You could say, I don't like Marcus, that's all fine, that's all good. This is a fact, you can't argue with that, people are paying. And we start to realize, oh, so if I had all of this stuff, like here's one, franchise opportunities under 10K. Okay, interesting. So this is traffic where I can make good content. I can use this with what I taught you last week to create AI videos about franchises. And you just do a good job, make good content, make it work. And utilizing AI, what it's like is having a writer in your back pocket and it's like, oh, hey, now I'm writing in a structured way. And this is where it's good because AI is a computer, which means it's very analytical. All right, if you have a writer who isn't that analytical, but is you know, good at writing, they're not gonna keep all this stuff in mind, but AI will. They're not gonna go and evaluate a web page, but AI will. And looking at this and saying, okay, monetizing a Chick-fil-A franchise, complete guide, the cost, partnerships, how it works. I mean, this is looking like a pretty good article. Then I could say, now please create a tab three tables with one, franchises under 10K, two, 100K plus, three, one million plus, okay? And it should have the little tables. Hopefully, it might do a little legwork there researching it. So now we have a table for franchises under 10K, over 100K, and over a million. Okay? And then we can even do like fast food franchises, right? We could do other, now make a table with other fast food franchises in the similar price range. That, see if I do that, Google's gonna see this as more relevant because with this guy, he's like, oh, here's some other franchises I found. Okay, good, great, that's good. But like, what if I do, oh, well, let's, let's continue on and get some info about similar franchises in the same price range as um, whatever one we're working on here. I think it was Chick-fil-A. Yeah, so here we go. Chicken Hut, Burger Town, See how it's doing? Oh, hey, this is, this is pretty solid. Now, please add a column for average store earnings or revenue or something like that. Notice how what I'm doing is extracting the profit strategy from other places, utilizing it to start our content, and then letting it go even more. Like, what are some other things people would want? What are some ways to finance these for people who don't have 
$10,000. How do you get accepted at the franchise? How do you become one? All this stuff. And now we can do like this. And what we're doing is we're getting a really, really good way to go. Now, Ray says, what is the monetization for this? Excellent question. And we actually used AI to extract that, right? So it's monetizing with affiliate offers, memberships, courses, and resources about uh, franchising, and then also ads, review sites, lead gen, all that stuff. So what I would probably do is like find a good franchise lead gen offer, run some paid ads, because those will pay a lot, and boom, we're ready to go, right? So we're looking at this and we're like, okay, this is, this is looking pretty good. And now we can go through and tweak it and, and, and take a look at it um, and then say, okay, now let's compare it. Like I think in my brain, okay, well, if a Chick-fil-A makes 4.5 million and a McDonald's makes 4.5 million, why wouldn't I spend 10K and get a Chick-fil-A instead of 2 million and get a McDonald's? Well, let's take a look at that. Let's, uh, let's be curious. And I will tell you, ladies and gentlemen, do you want a tip? And let me know by smashing the like button. If you want a tip that is going to help you make way more money than you ever thought possible with AI, disclaimer, the average person makes nothing. Don't expect to make a bunch of money. This is a business, right? You can't just be like, I'm gonna make a hamburger and get rich like McDonald's. No, you gotta, you gotta go and do the, the, the legwork. But when we look at this, the tip is curiosity. What would you want to read? And it kind of helps, like I have a little unfair advantage because this stuff interests the heck out of me. Like I look at it and I'm like, yeah, I want to know about this. This is interesting. I like this stuff. But now I could go through and say, okay, let's be curious, right? Okay, what are some other similar franchises that are super expensive with similar earnings? Let's take a look here. So now we have this here. All right, okay. Premium fast food franchise. Do you guys see how this is like, oh, I'm gonna get a really good piece of content here. This is something I can work in a really easy way. Um, again, fact check, do the work. But do you guys see how like, we're not extracting everything from a site. It's not like a fine replace, copy and paste. It's more of a, hey, let's look at the structure of what is working in a niche and let's use it to do better, All right? Do you see that structure? Use it to do better. It's a lot like I do here on my channel. A lot of people look at my videos and they're like, oh, you know, you have this video on Google Maps. Does it really work? Well, what we're doing is we're doing it in a different way. I take the idea that's working. People are watching videos about X, Y, and Z. I flip it into my strategy use my monetization methods, and now I have a good piece of content that actually works in a really, really simple way. And so we start to look here, and we say, okay, here's some, some similar ones. Okay, initial investment, average store revenue, or whatever it is. And now we're getting something that works well, and we can create a video, we can do all this. Like Stella says, we are using AI to reverse engineer what is working. And that is super, super important. And we want to look at that and start to understand, well, what is the structure of this? Why does this sell well, right? We could go through and we can look at like how to start a blog or whatever. And we could say, well, why does this sell well? Why would this work? Um, we can structure it and say, okay, website setup. Okay, clear this out. Please look at this page and tell me why it does a good job of selling web hosting to people looking to start a blog. Okay, let's see what it comes up with here. Okay, this page does a good job of selling. It has a catchy headline. Okay, it says less than 30 minutes, a video tutorial clear detailed structure, helpful screenshots and links, tips and best practices that add value and credibility, strong call to action. Now we can see this here and say, ChatGPT, now using this, 
information from a website about hosting, please make this content sell a franchise guide opt-in offer that is free. Okay, so I wanna build a mailing list. Boom, we're gonna use this and we're gonna make it to get the mailing list stuff, okay? Uh, structure is your favorite keyword for replicating making money online. Uh, yes, it is a very good uh, way. The structure is so key. And apparently it's just gonna be the dot there. Okay, unlock the secrets to franchising in less than 30 minutes. This actually is doing a good job. Okay, here's our video tutorial. So like this would be a kick butt splash page for my franchise content, right? So watch, I'll show you in just a minute. Just hang tight, smash the like button. Just a minute, we're gonna show you how this would work. So this would be a page. So I'm gonna have, uh, I'm basically when this is done, we are going to have all this franchise traffic. So we'll have our Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, hot dog, whatever, this one, this one, this one, this one. All of this stuff is going to lead to a page. On the page, on the McDonald's page and the other page and all this, we're gonna have a banner, and that banner is gonna to lead to this. And this is going to be this piece of content. All right, click here to get your free franchise guide. Now, please make a headline for a banner leading to this content you just made, the one for the opt-in, okay? Now we're going through and we're like, oh, okay, now I see how it works. Are you guys seeing how we're like, oh, this completely, discover franchising mastery, get your free start, free guide and start your journey today. Okay, that's cool. Um, how about one with more benefits? You can do five examples, please. Okay, and then this is going to be what links to that. So unlock franchise success, franchising made easy, dive into our guide. And this is the same kind of thing we would do if we're talking about like calories in a banana. Click here to get the free calorie guide. Build a list about calories. Are you guys seeing how it works? Type it works if you guys are seeing this and you're like, oh, okay. Um, now we can do this in a very simple way. And when you look at this, it's like, oh, hey, now I got all these keywords about franchises that I could literally just start making content about. Now you might say, well, some of them will rank, some of them won't rank. But once we have that content, and if it's good content, I could literally go over here and be like, oh, hey, check this out. Let's make a screenshot or an infographic about these franchises. Now I can make an Instagram about it. Now I'm sure there's a guy on Instagram that talks about franchises and things like that, right? Is this making sense to everyone? Let me know because I think utilizing this to go in and look at other things that are working and emulate them. Again, no copying, no junk, we're emulating. This piece of content that I created is completely unique. We go through, we plagiarize, check it, everything like that, and it's based on what works. So what we're doing is we're emulating emulating the strategy rather than just, oh, hey, here's a page that works, copy it and make, no, don't, no. That's not what we're doing. Spend the time and make it work. You gotta ask yourself, if someone out there is making 10, 50, $100,000 with a post about hosting, I mean, what is my effort worth? So many people are out there talking about, oh, let's just create five bazillion AI pieces in two seconds. Okay, that might work for a, a little bit, but again, it's doing a disservice to the internet. The search engines are gonna catch up. They're gonna be like, this is junk. People aren't gonna wanna read it. We need to go through and say, well, how do I create something that is going to work? How do I make something that is going to follow a path that we know? How do I create the best post possible about my keyword with the help of AI? And I'll tell you, it's all about curiosity. 
Be curious about your niche. You don't need to be an expert in it. AI is going to do that for you. Be curious and start to understand why is this working? How do I make this work? How do I monetize in a way that is going to take people from the simple, easy thing and put them to the complex thing? People looking up franchise McDonald's, they might be settling a bet. Oh, no, bro. McDonald's is $5,000. No, I think it's $4 million. All right, let's go to Google, check it out. So a lot of people might be doing that. But what we're going to do is we're going to build our content in a way that gets people interested and say, oh, well, what about these franchises? Did you know that franchising is a, a good opportunity for X, Y, and Z? Here's why, right? And we're going to lead them through the path we want them to take. If you are a marketer, if you're a content creator that wants to make money, we need to lead people through the path that we want them to take. Not the one they're naturally going to take. Like if you go to downloadmynotes.com and get my notes, it's going to lead you through the path I want you to go through, which is laid out so that it'll help you and also have a better chance of you buying something from me. This is very important and we need to structure this in a way that works and AI is going to do this in a very, very simple way. And using AI, we can extract and look at and dissect and analyze profit strategies at the drop of a hat or the click of a thing, a snap is what we're looking for. So if you're interested in that and you want to get some notes on further stuff that I'm doing, and if you guys are new here, um, I provide my notes from my videos every week. We put them on the blog right here. Um, they are not there instant. I know a lot of people are like, where's the notes, Marcus? I, I, don't, I don't trust you. Well, it takes a while to make notes on a video because this is a live video, and I don't know what the notes are going to be yet. We have to go through and make it work. So we're going to go through and have that happen. And it's very, very important that you look at it. And you can do that uh, by going over to downloadmynotes.com, uh, check out our other websites. We got all kinds of stuff uh, to help you learn this strategy and make it work. So thanks for being here.